Good morning, everyone. I hope you are having a great day. Today, I'd like to share from the letter of Romans, chapter 8, verse 1 to 4. And if you can, I want to encourage you to read these verses with me. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. For what the law was powerless to do, because it was weakened by the flesh, God did by sending His own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh to be a sin offering. And so He condemned sin in the flesh, in order that the righteous requirement of the law might be fully met in us who do not live according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Amen. Today we start Romans chapter 8. Do you remember how chapter 7 ended? Let me bring back the last verse of the chapter. Thanks be to God who delivers me through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then I myself in my mind am a slave to God's law, but in my sinful nature, a slave to the law of sin. So the Apostle Paul says how we were slaves to the law of sin, but through Christ Jesus, those who believe in Him have been delivered. So although we still have our sinful nature and we fail uh, to follow the law of God perfectly, this is what the Word of God says. In the first verse of chapter 8, it begins by declaring that there is no longer any condemnation or judgment for those who are in Christ. So in this passage, there are two laws Paul is talking about. The law of the Spirit is the gospel of Jesus, the good news, the message of new life through faith in Him. And the law of sin and death is the Old Testament law of God. And as we read in the previous chapter, verse 12, the law is wholly righteous and good. But because we cannot keep God's law on our own, the result is only sin and death. But again, today we are not under the law of sin and death not because of anything that we've done right, but because of everything that Jesus did for us. Instead of having a fear or anxiety about the punishment that we might get from God, instead of having disappointment or depression in our sins, we can have this permanent and unchanging joy that the law of the Spirit has brought us today. Today, if you have some time, let us read this passage one more time and meditate on the love of God for us. And let us rejoice in this truth and bring glory to Him in our lives. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise You for the love of the Spirit that has set us free and brought us this permanent and unchanging joy. Lord, thank you for your grace that we can live our lives by enjoying all these blessings. And Lord, uh, even when we fail, even when we sin, help us to remember that we live our everyday life by your grace. And help us to have a thankful heart and do everything for your glory, God. Lord, in everything, help us to be obedient and help us to share this joy with others so that they may come to know you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.